the Australian Christian Teen Writers Award. This award is given annually for an unpublished manuscript by an Australian teenager. The award carries a prize of $1,000 for the winning author, and tonight we'll be awarding the first, second, and the third prizes in this category. So we begin tonight with a reading from the manuscript that has won the third prize. I want you to reflect on this question. Is God always there? Think about it for three minutes and then we'll discuss it. It was Friday night. I was sitting in a small auditorium at a church. This was the first time I'd attended youth group in weeks. I pondered the question, struggling to keep my mind from wandering to more exciting matters. My Christian reasoning automatically jumped to yes. I had been taught this since preschool. My kids' church leaders had repeatedly used the story of Jonah and the big fish to illustrate how you can never escape God. However, my mind resulted to no. Since when have you felt that God was with you? Surely not since the beginning of this year, which makes it what? Eight months? Eight months of silence. I considered this fact. Maybe Jonah was wrong. Maybe you can get away from God. Or maybe God can desert you. I'm pretty sure at least one person in the room knows who's won. But let me tell everybody else. The third prize for the Australian Teen Christian Writers Award has been won by Jessica Dinning for her manuscript, Deserted. Jessica, would you like to join me on stage, please? <laughs> Give her a round of applause. Jessica, come on, come and sit next to me. Sure. Basic in the, in the limelight. <laughs> this is what the judges had to say about Deserted. A chaotic life is captured with precision and confident language. Team protagonist Phoebe has given up on God, but God, it seems, has not given up on Phoebe. Ladies and gentlemen, Jessica Dinning. <laughs> Okay, so I'm so excited, extremely honoured and utterly surprised to be receiving, be receiving this award. I honestly did not expect it. When I posted my story, I thought, yeah, wouldn't it be so cool if I won a prize? But that would never happen. Yet here I am. Uh, I only have a handful of people I want to thank. Firstly, I want to thank Sparklet itself. I think it's so awesome that there is an opportunity out there for Christian teens who love writing to submit stories with a Christian message. For me, it provided a comfortable, nurturing platform to share God with others through using my talents. I think that's really cool. Uh, secondly, thanks to my friend Josh. He was the one who pointed me to the Sparklet website and told me, there's this award, I think you should enter. Well, if it wasn't for him, I never would have entered and have this amazing opportunity. Thirdly, thanks to mum and dad uh, for allowing me to enter this competition. Lastly, I want to ultimately thank our awesome God. I strongly believe that God is in control of everything um, in our lives, from if, if we oversleep or wake up on time, to what career path we choose, or how old we are when we die. So that means that I believe that God provides appointed me to this award, told me what to write, helped me to write it, and made the decision to present me with this award. I know it sounds a little cheesy, but really, if it wasn't for him, none of this would ever happen. I can't thank him enough for it. So thank you so much for this award, and I'm so ecstatic to prevent, be presented with it and to have this opportunity. Thank you so much, Jessica. 
Now, Jessica is shaking hands and posing with the delightful Michael Colley, who is the National Director of Sparklit. So you'll have this memory for years to come, as long as his beard is lengthy <laughs> or something prophetic and profound.